In this video we're going to learn how to make a piece of artwork just like this. Now, the title is On Making Art From Photos, which kind of gives it away because it is a photo that's made into art, recorded 14th of March 2020. So this is the original photograph from the canal and you can see that in this one photo it's got some dark areas down here and down here. The method that we're actually using here for me is a stepped method which is taking three photos with open camera, one normal, one overexposed, one stop below exposure and then we are mixing those with Vibrance HDR and then after that the step is making an HDR picture using Snapseed and then the last step is to make a arty picture using Photo Director. So you may be thinking what happens if we skip the two stages? Is there a difference? In other words to go from say a normal single photo all the way up to the Photo Director. If you do that, you do actually get an image that looks a bit arty, but you can see there are some very dark areas and, um, well, to be perfectly honest, it does not compare to this image with all of the steps. So that's question answered. You can clearly see that the image on the left here is the single camera and the image on the right with the extra steps that I've used. In the Photo Director app, we have six effect styles and what you see on screen is 30% strength not the full AI RT effect. There's a real nice game that you can play here and that is to start having a look at the set sort of areas around here that I'm highlighting and you can see with trees or the life raft ring things everything is different. Start to have a look at the clouds here and you'll see they're all different. I particularly um, can see a big difference between the trees here. Anyway, we can then go over and do a quick app demo and other images in the same style from that time. What I particularly love on this is you can see some things there where we've got our resident Labradoodle and anything that is actually natural, i.e. grass, trees, twigs, anything that grows, you've got this incredible sort of um, effect with it. So what we need to do next, I believe, is to go over and have a little look at the demo, which I've recorded earlier. I'm just going to play this as it is. And this is opening up Google Photos, and then we're going over to Photo Director immediately and you've got effects and then style. From there you've got six and again I recorded this earlier so when you see the little whirly wheel down there it does take, and I will say this, about um, 10 or 11 seconds on my phone or tablet to actually process. When it does process, it says me talking over it in the normal way, you get this which is a hundred percent effect on style one. We can dial this down with the slidey bar. That's about, what, 50% of the effect. Again, this is an artistic effect, so therefore everyone has a different taste or a different feeling, a different emotion, depending on what they're, they're doing with it. I particularly, personally, over the hundreds I've done recently, use about 30, because I think 30 shows that there is an artistic effect, but also shows quite a detail with the original photo. At 100%, there is a lot of big, um, shall we say, AI brushstrokes knocking around the place. And it carries on like that. I think um, I'm going to stop that video and go back and then start to look at the similar examples that we've got here. So these are all photos, remember, in the album that I took. This was very strong winds at 30 odd miles an hour. It was in March, of course, a couple of days ago. And we've got images like this. This was, wasn't in that place. It was slightly um, down the canal towpath a little bit. And we've got a feeling. This was not pleasant particularly because we're so early in springtime that there's not a lot growing. But this does actually look, I would say, pretty okay with this, this bridge. In fact, you can actually see with this image, 
a lot of the original photograph showing through but when you actually get down to some of the grass areas AI has taken over. I would love to say that I've got time or even the skill definitely to do art myself but I actually haven't. Here's another one and another one. What you get here in my opinion this is style 4 is anything in the sky in other words the clouds pretty much stay as they are but anything that looks like a tree or a piece of growing grass takes over to become quite different. This one's quite an interesting one. We've got the, I believe they are the, um, the shepherd's hut in there. That's one's looking up to the church and again along the towpath then coming back to paper mill lock it's quite an interesting way that these actually work in real life these would print up to uh, 25 inches on the wall is the one that we showed earlier here's another one it's the lock keepers cottage I believe or something similar to that I'll call it that there's a resident labradoodle again and Quite interesting the way that you can actually start to have a look at this because the trees are barely recognisable in this one yet the barge here at some points the AI has hardly touched it. Here's another one. This one was quite interesting because the natural, although it looks like a summer's day, it was you know a pretty chilly, pretty, ch chilly day. Uh, sorry, just stumbling on my words there. But you can see that some things are not touched at all yet the water has quite a nice effect if that's what you want to do to make a postcard or send these to people or whatever you wish similarly an area there look is a lot of retention in the original photo yet the trees are a very different way of working now that is the video there so therefore I need to come back and have a simple look at the where I was earlier and to go on and say for the method and the resources in making this, we can refer top right to our original slide and say number one is what I did. I used Open Camera App on Android. I took three photos setting the camera to exposure setting. In other words, it takes a middle picture, an overexposed one stop for me, and a underexposed one stop. You merge these on section number two using Vibrance HDR app on Android again of course and then after that go up to number three and I made a single HDR photo using the Snapseed app then and only then did I go over to using Photo Director app again on Android of course obviously but you can do these I believe in different places ie iOS or wherever and it was effects style and then there were up to six different filters you can do this whole Photo Director on desktop but I tried that and there was tons and tons of choice and the app was best for me. So that was on making art from photos in this one, two, three, four step situation. Good luck. This was youtube.com forward slash Mike Downs.